Hey guys, what's up? By Sacktron here from One Hive Gazette, bringing you guys a very special video. Because uh, in this one, it's also a live attack, uh, but I'm going to show you guys the replay first um, to give you a good idea of the base I'm hitting, where all the traps are at, and stuff. Instead of just drawing it out for you guys, um, so I'll go times two speed just for the sake of time in this video. Basically, what Cotton Eye Joe did is he dropped four quakes, uh, three golems, backed it up with wizards, uh, wall breakered in after the funnel was created then dropped some witches out of his CC, his king, let all that work its way forward. Uh, so witches in the CC, the defensive CC that is, so it just drops a poison, they go down real quick, um, gets in there, triggers bombs, takes out the queen. Uh, it's all single bombs in this base, basically. Then comes in with the hogs on the left side, top left. Um, they make their way through the base, but the main problem with the attack is that heal spell runs out, and they're out of the heal when they hit that bomb right there. That really lowers their health and you can see that Tesla, that Archer Tower just picked them off one by one. Still has a little bit of his kill squad left, just not enough though. So very close to getting the three star here. Just um that one explosion with the hogs is kind of what did him in. So I'm gonna show you guys how I plan on cleaning up this base um as this fast forwards to an end right here. Um so a very good attack by Cotton Eye Joe. Uh hard to predict where those giant bombs are gonna be so a little bit unlucky there but um, let's go ahead and hop into you doodle real quick. Um, love this app by the way, it lets you draw on your photos, edit them, very high quality stuff. But anyway, um, I have a very, very similar plan. I'm just going to drop down a minion right here just to start creating the funnel. Uh, just do it cheaply. Then I'm going to drop uh, two golems. So I'm going to drop a golem. He's uh, He brought three, I'm only bringing two. So one here, one here. Um, there's going to be that Tesla that pops right here, and uh, once it does, I'm going to drop a hog on it. Just a one-for-one -one trade right, right there. Everything's distracted. Um, then I'm going to probably have two wizards, wizard here, wizard here, uh, just to create the funnel. And then I'll do probably two wizards here. So four wizards for the funnel, and then once the funnel's pretty much been created, I can wall breaker in right here. You might notice that one of his golems didn't come in, so I'm going to wall breaker in on the corner right here. That should allow that golem to reroute. I'm also going to try to make it so that um, this cannon right here doesn't go down too quickly because I need the golem to target that cannon because uh, there's no other defenses. That expo is too far back for the golem to, to reroute to it. So I'm not going to drop my queen too early just so the cannon uh, is still up for the golem to reroute to. But then I'll drop the witches from the CC just like he did. Let everything make its way in. I'm obviously going to quake probably at the beginning of the raid like he did. Just to make sure I get that exact quake on that uh, conjunctions to, to open everything on up. Also have the rage, which I'll drop for my uh, kill squad. I also have a third witch that I brought, so I'm one less golem but one more witch, and that's gonna allow my kill squad to have a little more longevity. So I'll drop that with the other witches. Um, let everything make its way on in. This can's my only concern right here, because um, I'm bringing a few less wizards than he did. His wizards actually took out the cannon during his attack, and I think the fourth giant bomb is right here. Let me switch colors real quick. Um, we have giant bombs here, uh, here, here, and here. This one right here, I'm not sure about, but it's really the only spot uh, where it could be. So I might, uh, what I might do is drop a few hogs, because I have more hogs than he did, because I'm not bringing that third golem. I might drop like two hogs here when I get the chance just to eliminate that giant bomb spot. The, the air defense should go down, the wizard tower will obviously go down. I just don't want that to be up there for my hogs to run into at the end of the attack, because um, that could cost me the three star. Anyway, um, I'm gonna have the poison for the CC, obviously. Now I have two poisons. If I can get away with only using one, if I drop it right, um, then I can use the poison on the king. So I'll drop the poison, then I'll drop a giant to tank. That'll really take the king out of the equation. Then I'll come in with like a two finger drop right here with the hogs. Um, let them get in there, take out the archer towers, make their way through, and I'm going to be a lot more patient on the heal. It might cost me some hogs. Uh, I hope not, but I'm going to have to be more patient just because I, I need to get that heal uh, to be placed right about here to cover that giant bomb. So what I might do is I might kind of spread these hogs out like that to avoid this wizard tower from doing some splash damage because a wizard tower can take out a group of hogs pretty quickly. Um, I might just kind of Asian wall it now that I think. So I'll have a stream going here, then it's kind of a wall right here. Um, just doing my best to keep those hogs al alive as long as possible. And obviously all of troops in the core here tanking if everything goes right. 
Uh, the queen should go down and um, should have plenty of hogs to get the job done. Obviously a great plan by Cotton Eye Joe, so just had to tweak um, a few things to get it done. And hopefully it'll end up being a three star for me. So wish me luck. Um, this is my first time doing a live attack on my iPad. So got the X Mirage set up and uh, I'm excited to do it. So let's just make sure I have everything. I'll just go in right here. Um, have the poisons, have the quakes, the rage, the heal. Got my heroes. Uh, CC looks good, then all those troops. Um, looks like the right number, so a um, little bit nervous on Arranged War, obviously. My first attack was very close, so hopefully I can get some redemption here. Uh, looks like we got Iceman on defense. Um, so yeah, uh, let's go up to number 8, that's the one we're doing, and see if we can get the 3-star. I'm going to just go through it one more time in my head. Um, let's see, Golems, Wallbreakers... Oh, obviously that minion, 2-2. Two, two. Um, yeah, I'm feeling good. Um, if I had to say the only thing I'm a little bit concerned about is this cannon, like I said right there. Um, but I'm hoping it's not going to be too much of an issue. And I think I should just be able to drop two hogs on it and uh, get it taken out. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, do this. Um, <clears throat> don't like attacking when someone else is going, but whatever. All right, here we go. Might not uh, commentate too much doing it, but that's just because I'll be focused. All right. All right, everything looking good. Test wall breaker. I'm gonna drop the quakes now. There goes the king. Poison spell. I'm gonna have to drop the other poison. Ah, that's all right. All right, let's rage everything up. Two hogs there. Giant. Everything looking pretty good. Get these wizards down. Gonna have to pop the queen's ability. There goes that heal for that giant bomb. And those are back to full health. Oh, come on. Alright. Looking pretty good here. Got quite a few hogs left over. Uh, dropping down these wizards. Yeah, it's going to be a three star. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Yeah, looks like everything went well. We'll just go ahead and, unless I'm missing anything in the corners, drop that wizard right there and uh, watch this thing get cleaned up. I apologize I didn't commentate that much during it. A um, little bit of nerves, just I guess so. Wasn't feeling uh, like I could talk while I was doing the, the uh, screen taps, but uh, yeah. Got the three star, um, minute 15 to spare, so always good to have plenty of time. I'll go ahead and take a look at it one more time, just so I can uh, talk it through, see what went well, because obviously I didn't uh, see the whole thing. Oh, 121. Um, uh, let's give a thumbs up to the guys uh, real quick, and then we'll go ahead and take another look. Sorry, I, I kind of uh, took a little while to hit the attack button, I know. Uh, just because I was, you know, going through it one last time in my head. But anyway, um, this really isn't my plan. I don't want to take too much credit for this. This is a... Uh, 
can't remember the name. Uh, I'll remember it in a moment. But um, the first attacker really gave me the plan here. Cotton Eye Joe, that was it. Anyway, coming in with the two golems here, I think it was smart to drop that third golem. Didn't need all that tanking just because there's not a whole lot of defenses in the core. Just a lot of trash buildings mostly. Uh, drop down that hog, and you can see right when the archer tower locks onto that hog, drop the other two hogs on the cannon. Worked perfectly, got the cannon taken out, eliminated that giant bomb possible spot. Um, coming in with the witches here. Looks like the witches originally kind of went off to the side, but look, they reroute back in. And yeah, that giant bomb was there, so it's a good thing I got that taken care of. Uh, went ahead and dropped that second poison. I wasn't sure if the witches were in it. They probably were, but um, better safe than sorry. The poison wasn't needed for the king. Um, that one witch actually did go to the outside, but no big deal. Have the other two in the core uh, making their way through. The king actually goes down. He went over, so um, that's one difference between the attacks. The king came over in my attack. So he goes down. He's not a problem with the hogs. Drop that giant down. It looks like two-point defense actually got on it, so it was worth it to bring that giant. Coming in with the hogs here, and I think the plan went well. I didn't need that heal spell as early as uh, Cotton Eye Joe did, just because... Uh, those hogs are not taking a whole lot of damage. Uh, pop the queen's ability. She's going to just take out a few more buildings um, before she makes her way uh, into the last few defenses. You can see the hogs going there. Has, have the heal. They're up to full health by the time they leave that area. So um, pretty much looking good here. My only concern was the wizard tower, but it doesn't have nearly enough time to get those hogs uh, to low health. Hit a spring trap, but, you know, have like 10, 12 hogs left. So uh, they just tear through the rest of these defenses and take out the archer tower and get the three star. Hope you guys enjoyed this live attack. Um, looks like the guys definitely did. That was a lot of comments. I'll have to see uh, what they were saying. <laughs> um, anyway though, uh, you know this is what you gotta do. Just take a plan, tweak it a little bit. Um, don't have to reinvent the wheel, so to speak. You can just uh, see what didn't work, see the few tweaks you have to make, but nice job to Cotton Eye Joe with the plan. And a uh, nice job to myself with tweaking it, I guess. So hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.